welcome back and um, we are trying to to um, continue this game of Labyrinth the War on Terror I moved to a new location so uh, I don't know if the acoustics are the same it may change a little bit so but bear with me uh, I think it's going to be okay a quick correction from the last episode I forgot to activate the cells in the Kingdom and Eastern Europe when we plotted so I have done that now they are active this is um, this is the discard pile and this is the one we have left so you can see that we are approximately halfway through the game this new hand will deal the jihadist player 9 cards 9 cards and the US player will have 8 cards the word situation doesn't look too good for US if I am to hold out the entire deck, which may be very likely. Then I need to push the very good countries up to six. That means I need to, to improve governance in three more countries and keep it like that. Uh, I have a pretty good uh, prestige track on eight that gives me a plus one when I roll on World of Ideas. And the posture of US is the same as the world, so there's no penalty. And I do a word of ideas, so that may be an option to, to improve governance level. So yeah, and I can do that in neutral or allied Muslim countries. And there are more than three neutral slash allies that have poor governance. So that's an absolutely um, that's an absolute possibility to do that. I need three value cards, three operations, so it's going to be tough to do that. Uh, I also want to get the good resources up because I mean if a country is good it's a little bit more safe than if it's just fair so I will try to do that also in selected countries because it's very tough I need to get out of Afghanistan for sure my troops have been bugged down there I want to go out there and want to do the same thing in probably do the same thing in Sudan as I did in Afghanistan by doing an invasion well we'll see first now the uh, first the jihadist player it's going. Oh, GTMO, Guantanamo, Pants, Suspects, Offshore. It says, basically, this is a, a, an associate event, so it will play out. It tell me to roll prestige, and then there are no recruit operations, or the any release, which is an event, of course, the rest of this turn, and this is a lapsing event. Great, I think perhaps this is the first time we've seen lapsing event, so I'll place the card here in the lapsing event box. Yeah, so let's roll for prestige. Uh, I broke my dice tray, so I had to get a new one. Or well, it's actually uh, an old one, but it's a little too big for my liking, but still, I need to use it now. So I need to roll for prestige. Let's do that. How we do it? We roll one die, and we modify the roll by... Uh, if there are any penalty on the global war on terror really relations track and um, but it's no penalty there so on a one to four the rate the prestige will go down on a five to six it will go up so that's really tough uh, let's hope for some good luck here now that the prestige will raise or go up oh it will fantastic that's a five it will go up question is how much Determine this, I roll two dice and it go up by the least the least um, number of pips. So let's see. Oh man, would you look at that? I'm maxing out the prestige. That's fantastic. Finally some luck. One, two, three, four. So I'm maxing out the prestige deck. Now I need to take advantage of this because now I get a plus two to my roll on War of Ideas. This is a, this was a fantastic event for me. And with the true operation, they will look for jihad possibilities. Now there are no major jihad possible. They need five or more cells than troops, so they only have the most they have now is three in Somalia. But they can do can they do minor jihad? They can do minor jihad. Um, they can hurt me quite a bit actually by doing minor jihad. Their priorities are first among fair countries, and they can do a minor jihad. I will mark it with a die. They have basically three dice for this jihad because it was a three operation value card. So there will be one jihad, minor jihad in 
Afghanistan because it's a fair country. There are no other fair countries which has troops. The last two points of, of um, the operation value will go towards radicalization because they have exploited all their, their jihad possibilities now. And just a brief recap. Two points I have, radicalization. I will place a cell in a random country if the track has any cell and the track has one cell and then we will travel one cell by flow chart. So let's roll for the jihad in Afghanistan because Afghanistan is fair, they need a one or two to succeed. That's a five, they failed. So of course they need to go active when they do a jihad, but they failed so it will be removed to the track. When a cell is removed due to jihad, they do not get to place a color marker. Okay, next they will place a cell in a random country. Let's roll on the chart and see. That is tan 2, black 1. Oh man, that's Europe. Tan 2, black 1. It's Canada. Wow. Okay. So it has been a radicalization process in the neighboring country of US. Now we need to test Canada for posture. I want a 5 or 6 because that gives hard posture, but uh, I may not get it. Let's see. I get, well, can you see it? No, not really. That's a 3. So Canada is soft. Okay, they have one point left. They will travel. And as normal, we try to decide where they want to travel to first. They will travel. Yeah, the first priority is a non Islamist rule country with besieged regime. Then regime change, then aid, and they that's this is Afghanistan. So they will try to travel to Afghanistan. They will actually travel from any Islamist rule countries where cells are greater than operations. Operations are three. Sudan have six cells, so one cell will try to travel from Sudan to Afghanistan. But actually, this is a radicalization, so it's an auto success. Let's see the next card they are playing Muqtad al Sadr. Sh Shiite adds to occupation woes. Oh no. Play if troops in Iraq. No, there are no troops in Iraq. I have kept US troops out of there. Okay, so they can't play this. So again, we are looking for jihad possibilities. No, we only have one operation. And again, the only country... No, no, it's clear that they are going to do it in Afghanistan. They have sort of re-established the situation in Afghanistan. So they will go active here and they will try to do a minor jihad. On a two or better, or two or lower, they will succeed. Well, they succeeded actually. They got a two, and that is good enough. I understand? Have to go back to poor. It's still an ally though, so but it's now poor. And you're adjusting the track, of course. Poor countries to eleven, and now good fair down to two. Only two countries left in the world with a fair governance. Yeah, okay, that was two events. And let's see what I have in my hand. So I, I want to exploit this, right? I want to to roll some more IDs. Afghanistan is an obvious choice to get that back on good. I have this Patriot Act, which I'm not going to use. If I use the event, I need to put on the Patriot uh, token and remove the card. But I'm using it for operations. And I am indeed trying to roll in Afghanistan. Oh, and see if I need, I want to roll and see if I can improve the governance. So what do I need? Normally I need a 5 and 6, but I have quite a phenomenal bonus here on the prestige track, so that will give me plus 2 on War of Ideas. And there is no penalty, Global War on Relations penalty. A plus 2 on roll would actually leave me with a success on a 3, 4, 5 and 6. Yeah, so that's a 5, and plus 2 that's a 7, so that's a success. I do get to improve the governance level back to fair. I am playing this for the event, it's King Abdullah. And I, it says, instructs me to set Jordan to fair ally, plus one prestige and minus one funding. Okay. 
prestige cannot go any higher, but funding can go down to seven. Like that. Okay, things are looking a little bit better now. I have four countries and they're fair good. Yeah. And it should be nine then, that is not. So let's see if they can reply. I'm sure they can. Pakistani offensive, US event. Play if Pakistan is an ally and mark with Fata. It's actually mark with Fata, but it's not an ally. So it's not playable. So again, they will look for jihad possibilities and they can do a jihad in Afghanistan. So they will try to do that. That's the only place they can do a jihad in a good or fair country. They need to roll a die and they need to get one or two. They did not, they get a got a five. They failed, the cell is removed. And the last two points is used for radicalization. So a random country. Hmm. This random country where they will place a cell is in Sudan. So now I, they will travel by, by flowchart for the second point. Um, and they will try to travel to non Islamist rule country with besieged regime. Yeah, so they will travel, try to travel to Afghanistan it's because Afghanistan is a non Islamist rule country that has a besieged regime marker and even a regime, regime change marker on it. They will try to travel there. And this is an auto success, so they will succeed and they will travel from Sudan, which is an Islamist rule country with a lot of cells greater than ups. So they will travel with one of the active cells because that will cause it to flip on the ground and move to Afghanistan. Okay, second card. They got was Taliban. Three operations value. It says place a besieged regime in Afghanistan. It is already. And a cell each there and in Pakistan. Minus one prestige or minus three prestige if either at Islamist rule. Okay, so neither Pakistan or Afghanistan is at Islamist rule, so this will cost me one prestige. They will put cells there in Afghanistan and in Pakistan. So it costs me one prestige. Down at down to 11. I probably should have saved King Abdullah, so now I could have played it, that will go back and gotten him back at, at 11. Oh, well. So there's only one cell available, so either Pakistan or Afghanistan. Let's determine this randomly. On a 1, 2, 3 it's going to be Afghanistan. And it is indeed Afghanistan. So I'm playing this. I'm um, retracts for its operations value. And then the event says that US side will discard its highest value US associated event card. So I need to trash away my highest US card. You see, I don't have any. So nothing happens, but I get to use two points. Yeah, I'm going to try Afghanistan again. So let's see what I get. <sighs> Terrible. I'm going to play this one. One operation. Place a cell in Somalia. Yeah, we can see the track is empty, so this is not possible, but I still get to play it. Uh, with one operation, I'm disrupting here in Afghanistan. Because that will allow me to increase my prestige to 12. Now I'm not very lucky, I think. What will these guy, guys do? Yashal al Mahdi, Shia militants rise up. Play if a Shia mixed country has cells and troops. Yeah, Shia mixed countries are the one that have this symbol on them. You see, Afghanistan, Shia mixed country, and it has troops and cells. In the Shia mixed country, or countries, I only have one that has cells and troops. I need to worsen governance level by one, but not to Islamist rule. It means that Afghanistan goes from fair to poor. Track is suggested, of course. Oh, of course, they also get to use the points for operations. Major jihad, it's not possible. Minor jihad in good or fair countries, no, this is not possible either because Afghanistan just went to poor and then they will see if there's cells available. There is no cells available, so they will actually travel with three points. Over, uh, sorry, with two points. First is, of course, non-Islamist rule country with a besieged regime. And regime change marker, so one travel will go to Afghanistan. And then they will see if they 
if they can do a major jihad if, get, if they get two more cells in the country and if they get two more cells in Somalia there's a possibility for a major jihad here so the second travel is to Somalia so where will they travel from? first they will travel from Islamist rule countries where cells are greater than OPS yeah, OPS is two, cells are five, so four is greater than five one, the first cell will come from Sudan they will travel, try to travel from Sudan to Afghanistan so the second travel will also come from Sudan because still the cells here outnumber OPS so they will travel to Somalia because Somalia is an adjacent country to Sudan they will automatically succeed but they need to roll for Afghanistan Oi. troop alert so let's see if they can beat that governance level Yeah, they can actually. So they they are successful. Man, they just won't let go of, of of Afghanistan, will they? Second card, Kosovo. Okay, U.S. support Muslim minority in Kosovo. That sounds good. Prestige plus one. Okay, I'm already at maximum. Set Serbia to opposite of U.S. posture. That's not good at all. So Serbia will. Uh, where Serbia? Serbia has a soft. Posture now we have three soft and only four hard. Ah oh, man, means the world is changing their view. Now everything was going so good, and now suddenly they are messing up the relationship track. Okay, they get to do uh, operation for the last point also. They cannot. There, there's no jihad possibilities. Almost in Somalia, just one more southern Somalia, and they can do it. Sudan. So yeah, they will actually do a. Uh, a travel again and this time the ops is only one so still Somalia they will travel from Somalia and to Afghanistan and they need to roll so it's sort of incoming there they need to roll to see if they are successful they are not well, at least that's good the travel the cell is sort of disrupted and yeah okay so I'm using this Saddam and it says play if Iraq is poor adversary Iraq is poor but it is neutral so I will play this for but I'm only using two of the operations to try a regime change or try a war over this in Afghanistan so let's hope I can roll low yeah well that's a one ah, actually I hope I can roll high but that's the lowest it gets so that's a failure again I fail yeah, I need to try it again, so I'm, I'm doing this one, former Soviet Union, I'm not doing the event, I'm playing it for operations. Come on! This time I got a 6, so I succeed, finally. Afghanistan is back to fair, it just a track. And that's my turn. <sighs> what they will do? Wahhabism. So this export fundamentalism or oh no add the number on Saudi Arabia's governance to funding the number of Saudi Arabia governance is three okay meaning that funding pops right up to nine again or set to nine if Islam is true so they did that next event Al Jazeera Arab TV spins extremism hmm Play if Saudi Arabia or an adjacent country has troops. Well, Saudi Arabia has troops. Shift the country one box towards adversary. Oh no. So Saudi Arabia goes to neutral. I have two cards left. I will play this card, the Lebanon War. US discard a random card. I only have one card left, so I discard that. I didn't want it anyway, it was a terrible card. Minus one prestige. Down to 11. Place a cell in a Shia mix country. So I will roll on the Shia mix table. When I roll on the Shia mix table, if you remember, I need to roll three dice and add them together. That is uh, 15. And 15 gives me the Gulf states. So I need to place a cell in the Gulf states. Gulf states. That. Ah, that's not good. It's open up for a jihad possibility there. Blimey. Okay, because my plan was to try to get Afghanistan up to good now, so I'm going to 
use the three operations for that only uh, even though I only need two no 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 that's only a four with the modifier now that's actually only a three with the modifier I get two for the war of ideas but minus one because I tried to shift it to good again I fail it's terrible I'm out of cards as well and these guys have one more card left they will play it Schroeder and Chirac <laughs> What are these guys up to? Politicians play up defiance of US. Typical. Play if US is hard and US is hard. Set Germany and France to soft minus one prestige. Fantastic. I'm down to 10 prestige. But my problem now is that, is that France has changed their view now to soft and Germany follows soft. Now I have trouble. I mean, it looked so good. Oh, one, two, three, four, five soft. One, two, three hard. So the world has gone soft plus two, and now there's a minus two penalty here on this track. That's terrible. So that sort of equals out my high prestige when I want to roll on more of this. Yeah, that was not such a good run after all. I really hoped I would do better. The lapsing event sort of goes away now because it's the end of turn. Funding goes down by one but it's still eight and I lose a prestige. I'm down to nine because um, this country, Sudan, has an Islamist rule. I don't gain a prestige because you now the U of the world is completely opposite from the US. And then we deal a new hand. Okay, let's do that. Nine cards for the jihadist player. And eight cards for the US player. Join me next time for more uh, action. Well, hopefully not so much action from the jihadist player, but join me next time for Labyrinth, the War on Terror. Mm-hmm. <laughs>